Hey everyone, I'm Rainbow Runner, and welcome back to another um, experience recap for my CHS Productions. This time, my final one here for Les Mis, the high school version. And I, it's time to re just recap it. This was is my final production since I'm graduating on Wednesday, actually. And it's an interesting musical, say the least. I, I, ha I had fun with it. Though personally, I think Rock of Ages will forever remain my favorite CHS production. But Lame Is was a blast to do as well. This is the playbill. Now, unfortunately, there were some of the... Nah, there's some of the... The, the cast pages and stuff showing the cast members and stuff for the leads that wasn't in there. I'm right here. There's a brief synopsis of my previous experiences and stuff. And I I had some good experiences and stuff as well. I was part of the male ensemble and with a variety of roles. I was first part of the chain gang at the beginning of the in the prologue where they introduced Jean Valjean who's portrayed by none other than Casey Likes PMB Productions but yeah Casey Likes Jean Valjean prisoner 24601 I actually remember my particular prisoner number 28423 where that's where Jean Valjean is introduced and he begins his parole and then I appear a little bit later in the prologue where he begins to try to find a job. And I'm one of the laborers who's trying to use the scythes to cut the wheat or something. And then next I appear as a townsperson and factory worker or poor, I guess. From, and at the end of the day. And actually, this is where... One of the three tents where I actually fall in the stuff where I'm kind of like oh, arm over the shoulder of Kevin Mace, who's a sophomore. He did really well in this musical and we had chemistry like where I'm limping and stuff and everyone's like, you know, at the end of the day, you're another day older and, you know, all that stuff, you know, how the poor people are. And then we're gradually going forward just trying to to get the message like you know the poor people need help they need they need some ways to live you know and and then at the very end and stuff you know i collapse because my i i made so like my character's limping having a bad leg and then we go into the i'm part of the factory who witnesses the incident with fontine portrayed by Haley palmer and as she gets fired by the foreman, who is portrayed by Drew, um, Drew Sedgley. I hope I pronounced that right. And then next I appear in the car crash scene when I'm with Mackenzie Bradbury and Claire Wills, where I spot, like, look out, it's a runaway card. And, you know, we're warning all the bystanders to clear and then this is the second time I fall and stuff where we're trying to break, but then, you know, I lose my balance and but I quickly recover as I watch, you know, Jean Valjean free the man underneath who turns out to be Todd Applegate. And Todd, I give mad props to you since you were a freshman and you have a really lot going for you. Hope you do more later. And of course, you know, this arouses the suspicion of Javert, our senior, uh, Micah Lawrence. I mean, everyone did really well, by the way. And I actually helped shifting for the part where it goes into the part with little Cosette, who was portrayed by Claire Likes, the younger sister of Casey, for her scene. I actually bring on her broom. And then I how and then the innkeeper song, Master of the House, is a lot of fun because the Tenardier's Tenardier, Ever Rees, a sophomore, did really well. And Faith Sterling, as a fellow senior, which I'll 
I'll be definitely coming, be coming more on that later. But it's, we have, it's a fun one, and, you know, everyone's, like, laughing, gossiping, and, you know, raising a glass. Like, everybody raise your glass. Yeah! And, you know, and I actually, I even shout, another! Although I don't actually throw my glass down like Thor, but, you know, I just had to make the reference that uh, kind of, because it felt it would kind of fit in. Then I appear in the beggars and part when I'm with the first time I'm with Tenardier's gang alongside Isaac Lyman and, um, Michael Coleman and uh who is it Hunter Bodrin um we're all members of Tenardier's gang where we expose Jean Valjean's criminal record where I hold him back and and you know as Tenardier exposes him and he tips off Javert about him but then another, then we go into the ABC cafe where this is when my student is introduced, where all the students begin to assemble and be able to start an uprising to overthrow the government. And that's basically what that is. Like red, the blood of angry men, black, the dark of ages past. And then, um... And then, of course, Gavroch, portrayed by Grant Kelsey. He was one of the younger kids who that wasn't high school age that actually got to participate in this. But it was Grant tells everyone that General Lamarck died. General Lamarck being the one person in the government who actually gives a crap for the poor people. I really don't know why life was so miserable and stuff back way, like working conditions and stuff. But we should be grateful for the life we have today. But anyways, you know... Andras, portrayed by Nainoa Aguano, and Marius, portrayed by Avery Shizensky. They're both juniors. Um, that gives us, tells everyone that, you know, we need to stand up and fight and hand out flyers to, do you hear the people sing, singing the song of angry men, you know. And then, and my nose is itchy, but... Yeah, in, in a way, it's similar to um, the protester sequence in Rock of Ages, we're not gonna take it. Although, obviously, it's back in the 1800s, 19th century, I think 1832. And then, next up, I appear in the attack on Rue Plume, where me and Tenardier's gang are planning to rob Jean Valjean's house for, because, you know, for for taking Cosette into them. But, you know, Eponine, portrayed by Kayla King, who I give mad props to since she's a freshman, but she really killed it with her epic voice and stuff for her solos. And then... Um, oh, yeah. And then Cosette did well. Um, Amelia Oliver. And then we go into One Day More, you know, and one of our most iconic numbers, numbers which I'll kind of go in more in depth with in a, soon. And then we go to Act 2, where this is where the bear case sequence comes into effect when all the students unite. Let's see, Gavroch exposes Javert as a spy, and, you know, we imprison him. Then Eponine dies trying to cross the barricade, dying in Marius' arms, and, you know, she's the one that we will avenge. And then Jean, Jean Valjean and comes to join the fight, although this, we were initially skeptical because he was this fight as his prisoner. And then I yell, oh, they're getting ready to attack, and throws behind them 50 men or more. Mm, you know. And I, and no offense to the other students, and stuff, but I feel like I did probably one of the best jobs as a student on the barricade, because you know, because I've actually shot real guns before, and you know, I kind of knew how to shoot and like, and you know, reload, like use the ramrod, and then like I made it look completely realistic. And then the battle continues, or the sequence, like where mm, Valjean is given the the honored to execute Javert, but he decides to let him go, because, you know, you know, it, it's the right thing to do. He's a changed man, although Javert clearly doesn't see it, but, of course, we think he's dead, because, you know, he shoots, but he doesn't actually shoot Javert, he shoots in the air, but, and hey, that rhymed. But anyways, and then, 
drink with me and then while we're sleeping i'm actually snoozing on the barricade when casey valjean sings his solo bring him home when he wishes for marius to make it out of life no matter what and then we continue the battle despite the odds being heavily weighed against us I mean, we intended to have many people join our uprising, but of course that doesn't happen. Anyways, Gavroch dies trying to retrieve ammo, and then then coming up to the third time where my character falls in this production during... Marius gets badly wounded, and then um, then Andros is like waving the flag, and then, you know, I was like, what are you doing? And then, you know, he gets shot, and they're like, no! And then... Oh uh, yeah, and I'm like I'll avenge your death, and then you know, in and all in slow motion, you know, I fire a last shot where I make it so I shoot the person who kills kills Andros, but of course, you know, everyone else dies, and then I make my death look really realistic where I fall backwards. I actually hand the the gun off to Charlize Conjero, who was one of the Bullet Girls, as I fall and then collapse on the floor dead, and. Of course, the Bullet Girls actually try to, you know, continue... Yeah, my ears are itching as well, sorry. But they try to continue fighting as a last-ditch effort, but of course, they get killed as well. And everyone dies except for Andros and Marius. Uh, or, not Andros. Andros dies. And Valjean and Marius. Valjean carries Marius off, and Javert... Finds him in the sewers, and yeah, and then I next up here in the empty chairs and empty tables, where Avery did a really nice job with his solo um, as Marius. You know, he's mourning the deaths of the students, and we actually appear in the background and stuff with candles, and just to probably like. Like, as if we become one with the four, supposedly, or, you know, it's just illusions of his memory. And then next I appear in the wedding. I'm actually the major domo, who I actually improvised having a golden staff, where I'm, like, you know, pounding it, and then to get attention, like, I'm like, the Baron and Baroness de Tenar wish to pay their respects to the groom. And, of course, the Tenardiers come to crash the wedding, um, but, and then, like, when Nitsa kind of breaks out, I'm like, duh, 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 and then, like, I tap to get the attention, and then I, like, you know, raise the, the staff to, like, conductor to can resume the music, and then, and of course, you know, Marius and Cosette leave, but, of course, the Tanaris continue to crash the party, like, you know, they drop a plate, but of course they blame it on me, even though the guests clearly know it's not me. And then Tenardi steals my staff and to continue the music, while of course, you know, I shrug and snatch it back. But of course I join the other guests as they dance off to conclude. Um, yeah, this is the Tenardi's exit. They appear in the epilogue when Valjean, an old and weak, eventually dies, but at peace, because, you know, he lived a great life, he fulfilled his purpose, he's a good man, he's a changed man, and, you know, he dies at peace and joins Fontaine and Eponine as they go to heaven, having fulfilled, you know, his goal of raising Cosette, and then Marius and Cosette can live on, and, you know, and everyone else, or almost everyone, um, reappears for the finale where they're saying, do you hear the people sing one last time? Now, overall, again, Rock of Ages will take place as my favorite musical of all, or at least my favorite production of what it been in at CHS, but Les Mis was huge as well, especially since our director Stephanie Likes, as well as our assistant director Katie Kolacki were both in the revival cast for Les Mis, at least I think so, but... I know they were in Les Mis on Broadway. I'll just say that. But, and that would not be the last time we would actually do it. We actually performed whatever cast members we had going at Central Park in New York. 
And you can check out my vlogs from New York on my channel as well. But we had we did that in New York. We performed at an assembly for our school and we did at the NYA awards ceremony in at Scottsdale Fashion Center. I filmed an elevator there and and then of course we did then we had the ASU Gamage Awards um show where we performed it once again and we got nominated in the top 10 finalists for several different categories and we won three of them faith won the best supporting female role and then casey won both the best vocalist and the best lead male for jimmy awards and that was a huge blast and everyone of us that was there went crazy at least for CHS, but overall lame is was definitely one that I'll never forget. And I had a real blast with, so, and I had just made everything I could of it for my final production for CHS. And I continued the hashtag don't need a stunt double trend with my character falling at least once in every production that I've been in. Rock of Ages, me getting beaten up, me falling in, um, in Alice, uh, or falling, carrying a tray table, um, then, then f falling from limping in at the end of the day for Lame is during the car crash, falling over, losing my balance, and then actually dying in, in the barricade, my, but. I, that, that's just a funny trend that I like to, to use. Hashtag don't need a stunt double. Uh, overall, Lamus was a blast. And Casey, everyone who's watching this, um, Casey, all the cast, all the crew, and everyone who was who was part of the crew, who saw it, was in the cast, um, everyone who was involved with it, you're all awesome. I thank you for being able to enjoy this experience. This ended up being the our most attended CHS musical to date. Like, Rock of Ages what held the title for one, and granted, again, that still is my favorite production, but, but of course, Lame has surpassed it for the number of people who attended, especially on the final night. Uh, yeah, once again, thanks everybody for watching this this vlog uh, yeah, as I recap my experiences. And I hope that you all can be able to relate to this in different ways as well. And as I graduate in a few days, that you'll be able to enjoy this. And I hope to be able to make more content soon. So like this video, subscribe to my channel, and leave a comment if you happen to have one. And thanks again, everybody. And I'll be signing off for now. Rainbow Runner going.